All right, Jim, as the homicide rate continues to jump in Indianapolis, many dig deep in their hearts searching for the why. We want to fix the problem, not blame people. If you are a boy mom or have a young man in your life, these statistics are beyond troubling. In the past 40 years, our prison population has jumped 700%. 93% of the prison population, men, 85% of the men in prison grow up in homes without a father. The suicide rate, higher for men. Young men more likely to do illicit drugs. Their test scores are lower, and they're going to college less often than girls. Pastor James Jackson, the lead pastor at Fervent Prayer Church, a speaker and author joining us live with what should be a lengthy discussion, Pastor, but we're going to just start scratching the surface. Good morning to you. Good morning, Angela, and thank you for the invitation. Absolutely. Are we in a crisis with our boys and young men? I, you know, I think if uh, there's a word uh, worse than crisis, I think um, that would be the word for it. And yes, absolutely. Uh, it's a terrible crisis uh, here in Indianapolis and across the nation, actually. Why is this happening? I mean, I know in Indianapolis, especially, especially on social media, you know, it's blame police, it's blame the mayor, it's blame politicians, it's back and forth, but it seems that we never get to the heart of the problem. What is it? I think there there is some blame in some of those areas. There's more that could be done, but... Um, going deeper than that uh, the spiritual formation uh, component I think would be first um, from my perspective our young people particularly our young boys are not getting spiritual formation when I was a kid growing up uh, my mother and father made sure that we were in worship um, of course we say church but in worship three to five times a week and in our home, uh, the Bible was read. My grandmother taught me the Lord's Prayer and she would sing um, songs, uh, uh, church songs, gospel songs with us and teach us those songs. So we had a good spiritual formation. And even in school, and the founding fathers of this nation thought it important that every child know the constitution, every child be taught the scriptures because they thought that this would help us to have a more virtuous, uh, virtuous nation. And in America, and particularly, I think, in the black community, we've lost that spiritual formation component. Um, something is informing our boys spiritually. And over the last 40 years, much of that has been hip-hop. And I follow a lot of hip-hop uh, music, uh, particularly the lyrical content. Mm -hmm. And if you Google the lyrical content of the top 10 uh, hip-hop songs of today, you're going to find a lot of the violence that you're seeing on the street played out in the streets. Um, the Bible says evil communications corrupt good manners. And when our young people, particularly our young boys, and particularly in the black community, are watching young men who look like them um, listen to lyrical content that talks about bumping up the um, crime rate, uh, murder, robbing people, carjackings, and all that's glorified, then it's not surprising that you're going to see it in the streets. Pastor, uh, and yeah. I, um, I, I knew, I had a feeling this would, was going to happen. It's the first time I've gotten to speak to you. And we usually get about four minutes for a segment, and we're already out of time. I want to have you come on back again really soon, because I know that there is a problem when it comes to unemployment rates. I know there's a problem when it comes to median income. I know there's a problem um, with our, you know, single moms raising our children. Um, that is important too. So I want to have you come back so you can talk about kind of the bigger problem so we can start giving more hope to our young boys and young men. Absolutely. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you so much. If you would like to get in touch with Pastor Jackson or read one of his books, he's also an author. We're going to link you to his website, fox59.com slash Angela Answers, and we will have more um, in the coming days.